Uh, good evening, <clears throat> Doug Poy, Monroe Township. Uh, my first comment relates to the date of tonight's meeting in conjunction with the first reading of policy 0143. Originally, the November meeting was scheduled for November the 20th. This makes the fifth meeting out of 11 for which the date was changed. Yet the board could not see fit to change the date of the October meeting in order to conduct public interviews of candidates for the vacancy on the board. According to my calculations, that meeting could have been held on any date prior to Mr. October Poy, 13th. This is for agenda items only. Can you please um, tell us which agenda item you are referring I, to? I already referenced that with my opening statement. It, it relates to the, tonight's meeting, the date of this meeting that you changed. It also relates to the first reading of policy 0143. As I was saying, according to my calculations, that meeting could have been held on any date prior to October 13th. And then according to policy 0143, you would not have failed to fill the vacancy within 65 days. That's just a comment. My second item deals with your comprehensive maintenance plan, which you're voting on tonight. It includes replacing the 1936 and 1960 building roofs of the Applegar School, among a laundry list of many other repairs and maintenance planned for 2024-25. It states that the cost of that particular repair is $117,440. Yet I seem to recall that the amount talked about in prior meetings was much larger. It was great to read in the latest issue of Monroe News that Mayor Delina will be seeking council approval, approval of shared services agreement which will provide $5 million in matching funds in order to secure a $4 million state grant for replacing the old roof and the older HVAC system. I'm a bit confused about the amount of money involved. Could someone shed light on what this project, uh, what, what the projected cost actually is? And my final comment, which, and uh, I couldn't quite hear what was being said because for some reason you're hesitant to speak loudly enough or to have the microphone near enough to your mouth. But there was something said about the revision of the superintendent's contract. And I'm a little confused on whether there's a special meeting being called for that or will that be conducted at the regular meeting in December. Those are my three comments and questions. The hearing will be conducted during our December 6th meeting if we get approval back from the Executive County Superintendent. For the um, exact figures, I think we can refer that to Mr. Taig and perhaps he can send you an uh, answer to your question. All right, thank you. You're welcome. 